we're going to be using the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing leg of a triangle. So the first thing to notice is that we have a right triangle, which means it has a 90 degree angle. We can tell that from this symbol here. The second thing to think about is which ones are the legs and which ones are the hypotenuse, or which one is the hypotenuse. So the two sides that make up the 90 degree angle are the legs. So in this case, it's the side labeled 9 miles and the side labeled A. The hypotenuse is always the side directly across from the 90 degree angle. So the hypotenuse is the side that's labeled 15 miles. The reason that's important is that when our Pythagorean theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And whenever we use this theorem, we have to make sure that A and B are the legs of the triangle and C is the hypotenuse. So the hypotenuse length always needs to take the place of C. So when I go to plug in my information, I don't know A, so I'm going to leave that as my variable. I'm simply going to write A squared. I do know the other leg is 9 miles, so I'm going to plug 9 in place of B. Plus 9 squared. And I also know that my hypotenuse length is 15 miles. Remember, the hypotenuse is always C, so I'm going to plug 15 in place of C. From here, I'm going to solve for A. So A squared, I'm going to leave the way that it is. 9 squared means 9 times 9, or 81. And 15 squared is 15 times 15, or 225. Since I'm solving for A, I'm going to use my inverses or opposites to get A by itself. So my next step is to subtract 81 on both sides. Cross out my opposites. That gives me A squared On the other side, I'm just going to subtract. I have 225 minus 81. That gives me 144. And notice A is not by itself yet because it's still being squared. So the opposite of squaring a number is taking the square root. Whatever I do on one side, I have to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm going to take the square root on both sides. The square and square root cancel out, leaving me with just A. And the square root of 144 is 12. So A is 12, and we know our side lengths are in miles, so the correct answer would be 12 miles. We have another similar problem here. And again, we're going to start by identifying the legs and the hypotenuse. So the legs would be the sides labeled B and 6, since they make up my 90 degree angle. And the hypotenuse would be the side labeled 10 miles, since that's directly across from my 90 degree angle. So my Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, and I'm going to plug in the information from my diagram. So a would be 6. B, we don't know, so I'm going to leave that as my variable. And remember, C is always the hypotenuse, and our hypotenuse length was 10. My next step is to square those numbers. So 6 squared, or 6 times 6, gives me 36. Ten squared, or ten times ten, gives me one hundred. And I'm trying to get b by itself. Since they're adding thirty-six to b, 
My opposite would be to subtract 36. And remember, I'm always doing the same thing on both sides of my equation, so I'm going to subtract 36 over here as well. On the left side, 36 minus 36 cancels out, leaving me with b squared. And on the right side, 100 minus 36, we're just going to subtract. And that gives us 64. To get b by itself, I'm going to take the square root. Of course, we're going to do that on both sides. Square and square root cancel out, leaving me with b. And the square root of 64 is 8. So our correct answer here would be 8 miles. Okay, we've got another right triangle here. So we're going to keep using our Pythagorean theorem and plugging in our information for each leg and the hypotenuse. In this case, A would be our leg labeled 8 miles. So I'm going to substitute 8 in place of A. We don't know B, so I'm going to leave that as my variable. And C always represents the hypotenuse, or the side across from the 90 degree angle, so that would be 17. Our next step is to square those two numbers. So 8 squared is 8 times 8, or 64. Seventeen squared is seventeen times seventeen, or two eighty nine. And then from here, I'm going to subtract sixty four on both sides. And that's going to give me 225. And then I'm going to take the square root of each side. So B would be 15 miles. We've got another right triangle. We know the legs are going to be A and B, so I'm going to label this side A, B is already labeled, and the hypotenuse is always C. Starting with our formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and then substituting our numbers in. We're going to substitute 12 in place of A. We don't know B, so that's our variable. And we're going to substitute 15 in place of C. Twelve squared or twelve times twelve is one hundred and forty four. Fifteen squared, or fifteen times fifteen, is two hundred and twenty-five. And then we're going to subtract one forty-four on both sides. Two twenty-five minus one forty-four gives us eighty-one. 
And then our final step, taking the square root of each side, and the square root of 81 is 9, so we know our missing side is 9 miles. We have another right triangle here. So we're going to set up our Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. All right, so our missing side is already labeled b. Our other leg would be a. And our hypotenuse is going to be c. So we're going to plug in 8 in place of a. and 17 in place of C. And now we're ready to solve for B. 8 squared, or 8 times 8, is 64. Seventeen squared, or 17 times 17, is 289. 64 on both sides, cross out our opposites, 289 minus 64 is 225, and then our final step is to take the square root of both sides. Canceling out our opposites and the square root of 225 is 15. And since our side lengths are in centimeters, B must be 15 centimeters.